Engel from Valley View Farms is here to answer your plant and gardening questions. Hi, Carrie. Hello. How are you doing, Lisa? I'm doing great because I've got this little friend here. <laughs> See how brave I am, Sarah, holding this caterpillar? <laughs> She's something, huh? These are bug-eating plants, so a lot of different carnivorous plants. These are pitcher plants or nepenthes, as we call them. And down here is a Venus flytrap. And I don't know if I can do this or not, but you might actually see this close. There you go. I don't know. That might Let's not do it. <laughs> that might be too much. You have to hit both sides of the trap, yeah. Oh, it's uh, too big. <laughs> but hopefully, I, I'm working on getting one big enough to eat stink bugs. So, oh, there, it's closing. It closed right over that little guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a good plant for somebody who's got a lot of bugs in their house. It works, and I, a lot of these are hardy outside. The Venus flytrap needs to be grown inside, but it's one of the more fun plants we have mm -hmm. for kids. They get a big kick out of it. All right. Thank you for bringing that in. All right. All right, let's get to our questions. What trees and shrubs can be planted now for fall color? There's all sorts of things. The burning bush, I think a lot of people know about, but things like nine bark and father gila or other plants that give you a lot of like nice foliage color. Mm -hmm. uh, Clethra turns up beautiful color. Some of the dogwoods, the trees, will, the leaves get beautiful red and they get berries on them. Mm -hmm. um, so there really are all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll start seeing everything turn in. Well, I guess we've started, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's go see Carrie. Yeah, go Which see plants should be protected from possible frost later this week? Well, we have to take a look at, at work, and we've got to bring in all the tropical plants. So we still have some tropical ferns outside, some birds of paradise. They've all got to move in, palm trees. Um, but some of your annuals might have to move in as well. Begonias, if you have any impatience or New Guinea impatience, mm -hmm. they'll have to come in or be covered. Mm -hmm. And when you cover them, cover them with fabric or paper, not with plastic. Okay. All right, next question. Looking forward to next year, what can I plant to provide cut flowers for vases? You know, this year I had a lot of fun um, with hydrangeas. Mm -hmm. I certainly can uh, include those and things like lilacs to, to have outside. And then a lot of your daisy plants. Of course, our state flower, the black-eyed Susan, mm -hmm. but lots of different daisies. Cone flowers are great. Mm -hmm. There's so many things. And, and when you go to Pinterest or some of those mm -hmm. sites, you can really find some cool things, especially now for fall. I really wish that I could find the critter who ate all my greens. <laughs> and what would you do? To Kale no, no, and one cabbage. And <laughs> and I mean, uh, what happened? It just I mean, yeah, it, it, it's amazing. Um, I do use the, the deer stopper for most of those things, mm -hmm. and it does work, um, but a fence and a dog have helped me out a lot. Yeah, this year. yeah I don't, I don't yeah. have any of that. <laughs> Good okay. luck. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Carrie. Thanks, Lisa. And thanks, Flytrap. <laughs>